Hi guys, this is George back here in Florida and today we are here at Thorpe Park Resort. We are here to come and experience Fright Nights 2020. We've got various scare zones that will be opening in about half an hour and then we've got two scare mazes that we're going to do later as well. We just got here for the after two event and it's absolutely packed. So we don't, we're wandering around trying to figure out what ride to do first. Pretty much every single ride has a more than hour queue. Don't really know where we're going to go first. We might do Nemesis Inferno first. But yeah. So then guys, we just had a ride on Rush. We were walking around the park debating which ride to do. We decided on Rush. It said 60 minutes when we joined the queue. We waited about, probably about 35 minutes for it. It was a very short cycle and then unfortunately it did start raining when we were about halfway through the queue in Rush. So and then it was raining when we were on the ride as well, so it was a bit less comfortable than normal. But it was really good fun. I really enjoy Rush. It's probably my favourite flat ride in the park now that Slam has gone. But here we go. So we're probably I've just walked in a giant puddle. We're probably now going to go and do stealth depending on the queue. And hopefully the vampires will be back out as well in Amity High. And then we'll go and see them. And I'm gonna tell them that Callum here likes Lycanthorpe better than Amity. And we'll see what happens. We're about to go on the swarm, which means we need to go through the swarm invasion, our first scare zone of the day and there's one of the aliens right there here we go there he is let's go not much theming's been put in for this one this is a well themed ride but they haven't really put much in in terms of for the scare zone we have a little bit of theming here that isn't going to be there here we go and there should be some oh we should see some more. Oh, here's one. No, that's not one. Here we go. We should have some more coming around here. Yeah, we are. This is the way. Not many actors. I thought there'd be more. Apparently, the swarm is on a 40 minute queue as of the last time I checked the app. I have to say, not much is going on around here. Maybe we'll have to try it again later. We've seen two actors so far. A little bit disappointing to be honest. Here we go, it's on a 60 minute queue now. So here we go, let's go and get a ride on the floor. We'll have to come through this scare zone later. Here's an actor right here. Oh look, he's chasing people in. Here we go. Hopefully we'll get some more actors here later. <laughs> <laughs> he was good. He was, there we go. Right, we're in the queue. Let's go and have our ride on the swarm. We just had our ride on the swarm and we also went through the swarm invasion. Now obviously you do have to go through there as well to get through the exit of the swarm. Now, and the first time we went through to get to the entrance of the swarm, it was pretty underwhelming to be honest. There was only one alien, there was three actors that we saw. One of them was pretty good, the other two weren't really moving that much. When we came out the exit of the swarm, it was a little bit better to be honest. There was a couple more aliens around, more actors around. It was a bit better. The swarm was really good as well. I really enjoyed the swarm. It's my favourite ride here. It was my favourite coach in the UK until I rode Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But it's a really good ride. And there we go. So now we're going to head to we'll get some food. And then I think we're going to go on Nemesis Inferno, which is uh, not as good as Nemesis, but it's, it's, a, it's about on par, to be honest. And then we're going to Creek Freaks. Okay. So here up there we have one of the roaming team here at the park and it's the crows they're the park's roaming team this year and they look absolutely horrifying right here we go we're about to go into the fierce for arena our second scare zone of the night i've heard this is one of the best ones here we go 
It looks like we've got a bit of a shine. <laughs> actors in here this is very different to the swarm invasion oh look they're coming hello you will be coming back but... yeah we'll, we'll come back later but i'll be waiting okay hello Chilling. this is better than the swarm invasion already here we go. we've got some more actors here farewell hello sir. farewell this that was a pretty good one that was brilliant. Here's Roots of Evil over here. In fact, we know you know what we need to go and book our scare maze tickets. So let's go and do that now. Yeah. So then, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do the scare mazes this evening, as they do only accept card, and we've only got cash on us because. Well, I have got my card on me, but I don't really want to pay that much to do scare mazes. So if you are going to do them, then it is ten pounds per person, and there is two of us here. And I can't even spend 40 quid to do them because I have got a limit on my card that I can spend every week and I have got less than 40 left on my limit for this week which is a bit annoying maybe we'll do one of them yeah, I have her pla I have, I've heard platform 15 is better so maybe I'll do platform maybe we'll do platform 15 later we're gonna go to Burger King and get some food I can hear the Creek Freak Massacre soundtrack playing which they're playing in Creek Freaks Unchained this year so after Burger King I don't think we'll go through there straight away because I think we're going to do some rides. However, we will go through there later. Here we go, it's time for a ride on stealth. We need to go into Terror at Amity High. I don't think we're going to get too much head because we're just walking down here. For nah. Okay. Uh, oh, it's only 60. Let's just. Right, I don't think we're going to get too much attention here because we're just walking down here. Later on, we'll, in fact, we'll be going down the exit of Stealth, which is right at the other end over there, so we'll get to see all the vampires then. Here we go. 60 minutes. than in the swarm invasion I have to say it was pretty good I definitely want to go back in there later and see if there's more actors and hopefully see the dance show as well now we're going to go to the toilet and then we might go and do Nemesis Inferno so then guys we did just go on stealth as well as I forgot to mention because I was too interested in talking about Amity High but it was a really good ride on stealth now, obviously, a couple years ago, I did go to America and experience Top Field Dragster and King Dakar, which are pretty similar rides. However, they're a lot taller and a lot faster. And obviously, Stealth has been a little bit forceless ever since I went on those. However, I'm starting to feel the force with that again. It was really good fun, pretty intense for the launch. It was really good. It's still one of my favorite rides in the country. We're over here by Nemesis Inferno. I think this is going to be our next ride. It's that 60 minute queue. We've been here for like four 
hours and we've done three rides. But well, the queues are very busy tonight. It is Fright Nights. It does get very busy during Fright Nights. Here we go, let's go ride Nemesis Inferno. Look who we've just run into then. Oh my God. They are terrified. Oh, they're staring. Oh my God. Oh, hopefully we'll see them again later. We're going into Lycanthorpe High now. We're about to. So here we go, let's get a quick picture and go in. Here we go, we're going into Howl oh, we're going into the Howling of Lycanthorpe High to meet the werewolves. Get out my back. Oh, you're Hello. Can I just remind you that if you are inside the Lycanthorpe area at any point, Keep two meters apart and also make sure you're wearing a mask. We don't know, we don't want no uh, disease spreading, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello. So then, as you just saw, I just went through the howling of Lycanthorpe High, and that was a pretty good scare zone. And um, I'd have to say that so far, Lycanthorpe is probably my favourite. I do want to go through Amity later. I do want to go through Amity later. Yeah, I want to go through, get more actors there. So we're going to go and queue for Nemesis Inferno now. I've called my dad and asked him to top up my spending limit per week. So now we can do the scare mazes. So we'll go and buy some tickets now and then we'll go on Nemesis Inferno. No idea how big the queue is. I guess we'll find out. And then, yeah, we also saw the crows as well. We did just eat while we were eating. We did see the crows again and they were brilliant. They're actually so scary. Right, here we go. It's time to get some tickets now. Here we go. We're heading into Creek Freaks Unchained. This is the final scare zone for us to do this evening. And it's the most intense one. And we've just eaten as well. Oh my goodness me. Just go, just go, just go, go. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my, oh my gosh. That's the first time I've ever run in a scare maze or scare zone. Oh, and we did just try to book scare maze tickets and they sold out for both. We're gonna have to go past. No, we're gonna have to go past. Oh my gosh! Just, just, just go. Just go. Hey, how are you good? Yeah, we could. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. My name's George and his name's Callum. Hi, George, I'm Callum. My name's Charleston Buckley. Okay. And over there is my family sawmill. Okay. We've been running since 1889. You're in luck, we recruit. Okay. You want the job then. Yeah. You cut wood before? No. Uh, what about you? You cut wood? No. Well, we got an awful lot of wood out there. We got oak tree, we got pine tree. We got the one that's set up real good right now, the California Redwood. Hey. Okay. Not an awful lot around here though, so we gotta use pine. Okay. A special dye to make it rain. Okay. That's why we got these. Oh my. Go! Go, they're right there! Go! Go, go, go! Callum! Callum, stop pushing me past me! Go, go, go! We avoided them. And we just ran. Holy. And here is Cruise Creek Massacre. This was new for last year. Not open this year. Go, go, go! Holy crap! 
That was absolutely incredible. I might go around there again, you know. <laughs> So as you can see, not much has been going on here at Black Mirror Labyrinth. This is the new attraction opening in 2021. You can probably still hear the buck when you're shouting from in Greek Freaks Unch Unchained. That was absolutely incredible. That was the best scare zone so far. But the, as yeah, there's not really much going on here. Slammer is still standing there. There we go. There we go, there's Freak Freaks Unchained. So now we're going to go and do our final run of the night. We're going to go and do Detonator. And then after we've done Detonator, we're just going to walk around, go through a couple of the scare zones again. I definitely want to do Festival Arena again. But hopefully we'll do Swarm Invasion again as well, see if we can get a bit of a better run through on that. And maybe Amity High as well. But this is going to be our last ride here. I haven't been on Detonator for quite a while, but let's go and have a ride on it. So then guys, we just did our final ride of the night on Detonator and we waited a lot longer than half an hour. The queue was advertised at half an hour. We waited probably about 45 to 50 minutes for that. Quite a lot, but I haven't been on Detonator for ages. And it's one of my favourite rides here. It's one of my favourite rides here. It's one of my favourite drop towers. There was absolutely no So then guys, we are now back home from Thorpe Park. It was an absolutely fantastic visit. A visit that I wasn't expecting to be getting this year because the tickets for the full day had sold out ages ago. However, a few weeks ago I did find out about the After 2 event tickets because they weren't showing when I looked last time. And luckily we were able to get some of those so we were able to go. Now, it is time to show you the merchandise. So, I'm going to show you what I got here. And it is this Samurai Resin. Now, I've never seen this before. I feel like this could be new for this year. However, I don't know. So, as you can see, this this is actually a really well-detailed mug. Resin, sorry. So, you've had, you've got the actual ride vehicle, the gondola there. You've got the entrance sign here. You've got all the fence around it. And you've even got the test seat there as well. And uh, there it is on the back. It looks really, really nice. It's a really nice resin. As are the rest of the resins at Thought Park. They're all £9, so this one was also £9. Uh, however, I did get an annual pass discount, which I believe... Oh, no, you don't get a season pass discount anymore. Uh, if if you are going to Thought Park and you, you've got a season pass and you're expecting to get a discount... I will let you guys know that unless you have a Merlin pass now, you don't get a discount on merchandise. That's a new thing for this year. Before, you, if even if you were just a pass holder for Thought Park, you'd still get 20% discount on merch and food and everything. However, unfortunately, you don't know. In fact, we did it when we got the hot dogs earlier. They asked if I had a season pass, and we got a discount on that. However, for merchandise, unfortunately, we weren't able to get the discount. However, it, it doesn't matter too much. So you do only get discounts now if you've got a Merlin pass. Also, I did want to say about the mask. So today I was wearing the Thought Park mask that I got on my last visit. And it's a really good mask. It did really well on the rides. It felt a little bit like a little bit unsecure on stealth. However, other than that, it was really good on all of the rides. It, it, it was it was a lot better than the one that I was wearing last time. So if you are going to Thought Park, then I definitely recommend wearing that mask instead of one of those like uh, those pl those paper ones. So yeah, there we go. That's now the end of this vlog here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly Roller Coasters, George William Kelly and George Kelly Animals. Message me on Snapchat at George Kelly. Follow me on Twitter at George Kelly. And check out my other YouTube channel at Wealthy Eagle. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you all later. Bye.